Hellbound is the name of our wine bar here in Adelaide. We're in the basement of a heritage building in the CBD. We love South Australian wine, uh, but we also love French wine and Italian wine. We love Burgundy especially. We have quite a few wine cabinets here and they're, they're great, they're really useful for us. We have, a, we have a red wine cabinet, we keep it 15 degrees. We have a white wine cabinet, we keep it 12 degrees. We have a champagne cabinet, we keep it eight degrees. So we keep our wines at specific temperatures because I think it lets us get the most out of those wines. Lighter, more aromatic reds, like a, like a Pinot Noir or a Nebbiolo, we might serve a little bit cooler um, at, say, 13. Whereas your traditional full-bodied reds, like a Barossa Shiraz or something, we might serve a little bit warmer. It's really a personal thing for everyone, but I think that for a lot of people, it's the first time they've tasted a wine with a light chill on it, or, you know, that cellar temperature. It's been a pleasant surprise for a lot of people that come in here, I think. For me, I think it's far too common to be served a, a red wine that um, is too warm. You know, we live in Australia and, and it's hot here and wine can be refreshing. It can be fresh and it can be delicious. And I think if you get that, that right, that temperature, um, you can really retain everything that's beautiful about the wine and still have a refreshing drink that you can really enjoy. Aromatic white wines are the same principle, so chilling those wines down, you're still gonna retain those beautiful aromas and those lift off those wines, but you're gonna get a really refreshing and delicious drink on a warm day. Whereas more full-bodied white wines, like Chardonnay, for example, you can serve at a slightly warmer temperature, almost red wine temperature, that 13 to 15 degrees sort of range, and you'll still get a lot out of that wine. So one wine that I think is often served too cold is champagne. And I think proper well-made grower champagne served at say 12 to 14 degrees, it really lets you see the, like, the nuances in that wine a lot more than you would at say six degrees straight out of the refrigerator. We're lucky enough to be underground here, so we're, we're insulated from the hot summers in Adelaide. But the wine cabinets give us an extra layer of insurance and protection for the wine, and they ensure that the wines are always served at the right temperature. And that's why we've been using the Weber wine cabinets since we opened.